So, uh, so this Alex character comes over here from, uh, he's my tour manager in Australia. And, uh, and he comes over, we had some projects we talked about doing, uh, filling up some Patreon content, uh, a lot of different things, editing, uh, getting that new special out. And uh, he's in the world uh, of, uh, of podcasting. He, uh, Sean Smith, uh, is that crazy lady comic. She's, uh, out of her mind and funny. Uh, he does her podcast, uh, produces it, produces a million comics. He's one of those guys that uh, he never talks a about himself at all, like, which is fine because uh, I'm not curious. Um, but then he, he's, then occasionally he says something like, uh, "You go fuck, that's weird. I don't know that. How come that? How come he never said that before? Oh, because I don't ask." Hmm. Uh, but the one thing I said, well, we should do a podcast to introduce Alex to the uh, to our, our our world, and it's a no brainer. And uh, then the day we were supposed to do it, I go, oh, that would be fun because Raider and I wanted to you know do a podcast together for a while. And as it got close to uh, showtime, I could see Alex. Uh, Oh, are we still doing that? <laughs> like, Alex is on, fucking Johnny on the spot for everything. You say, oh, I need the AAA batteries for this. He's got them. He's, like, he's right there. But when it came down, oh, did you? And he, he would never say, I don't want to do this. I, and it's weird when someone that's that close to everything, he produces these things. It's like when the lighting guy you know says fuck i wouldn't go i, I wouldn't want to be out there like you work yeah. that close to the stage but uh there's something about being on it the guy behind the guy so uh doesn't like being the guy right so we said uh I go, you really don't want to do a podcast do you N no not not particularly i can't do the accent <laughs> is that what you're going for uh, no, I, I, I bailed out on even trying uh so I go, okay, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a podcast about you uh, with you in the room. He's doing it, uh, you know, witness protection style. And then... He is Australian. He's probably a criminal. But. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's in his roots. So we'll just talk about what we know about Alex. Hmm. And if we get stuff really, really wrong, maybe he chimes in. Maybe all of a sudden he wants to talk. <laughs> Good, it's a, it's good a, host, bad host. A, <laughs> which one am I? It's uh, it's a good plan. Yeah. Well, that was one thing I didn't know about uh, the stage fright thing. The, uh, I don't want to be on that side of the camera. Well, I don't know. We have a new nickname because we have our own Alex. Alex O'Mara is. Uh, so every time you say Alex, now you have to say Australian Alex, and it's awkward. And I don't know how. Um, uh, Anonymous, you want to remain as far as your name goes, but uh, you can you're, you're editing it, so you you figure it out. Uh, we'll get to that. Well, that'll be the big reveal. Is the your your new nickname? In the meantime, uh, one thing I noticed because um, you won't say I, I don't I don't like you know when people uh, don't uh, when they're not upfront. Like I the first day I was here, I had some jambalaya. And I, I gave it to him with a piece of toast because I didn't have a, the tortillas on d defrosted. And then there was one bite taken out of a piece of Dave's killer bread. Is I guess there was an age where I, if you gave me fucking whole grain toast, I'd throw it right out the fucking window. Mm. <laughs> but I wouldn't I wouldn't be timid about it. Mm. So I go, I guess you didn't like that bread. And he says, uh, Yeah, it tasted too much like bread. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like okay so I'm, I'm gonna have to like be very observant to figure out what you like and don't like because he's here for you got here the 19th of November and he doesn't leave okay. till New Year's so I want him to be comfortable and I want to know, you know uh, take him to Safeway so now I watch lactose intolerant mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, I'm making him you know those fucking like triple cheese turkey melt sandwiches. <laughs> How long did that keep him on the toilet? That's why he <laughs> left right thereafter. It all makes more sense now. See, yeah, he, he didn't <laughs> wouldn't say no. I don't want cheese because I'm lactose intolerant. No, he just goes down and fucking 
tears apart the turlets down at fucking uh he's a very hairy gentleman too i saw he came over once he uh he'd come in like he came in bearded and then one day he was shaved and i go oh you shaved i guess i gotta call bisbee plumbing <laughs> sasquatch down there fucking <laughs> shitting dairy <laughs> and you- molting hair oh uh, what what else have we fed you that you're not supposed to have? Or didn't like, or had to throw up. Because <laughs> I, 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 he told me the other day, uh, I've been making jambalaya. I don't know if he likes it or not, but that's always on the menu. That's what I eat, like, consistent. So if there's no other food, there's always jambalaya, if, if, if not fresh made, frozen, that you can defrost and always heat up jambalaya. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking, it's a very good all around food. It's like you know, you know pot roast or something. It's got yeah, meat and chicken uh, and vegetables. Yeah, vegetables and rice and yeah, it's, to everything you need. Yeah, but but you know what? That's not necessarily good because that's what they told us about pizza when we were a kid. Oh, it's got dairy. Well, that was the four food groups were still a thing. Jesus. It's got dairy. It's got the meat. It's yeah. got the vegetables. It's Grains. got a fucking couple of onions and a, a tomato. Yeah. Anyway, so that's around. I don't know if he likes it. I made him a smoothie first thing, and I fucked it up. I put like, too much like cinnamon. I, I used my breakfast mix instead of my smoothie mix. So that's what I mix in my oatmeal now. The, and he has, and he won't try a smoothie ever since. I don't know if he <laughs> it was that one or he doesn't like smoothies. He might be fucking banana intolerant too I don't know (laughs) but he's telling me the jambalaya because I was going to make it with shrimp and he goes I think I'm violently allergic to shrimp (laughs) and he tells me he once went to one of those Benihana places and they're fucking hucking (laughs) shrimp in his mouth (laughs) and he said I I don't know I don't know if it's bad shrimp or I'm allergic to shrimp but uh yeah, pretty shortly I had to run to the fucking toilet. <laughs> I don't know which, uh, if he was vomiting shrimp or shitting shrimp, like if it hit. Uh, but it's too bad He's, he couldn't be on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, Such a shame. Because he passed away about three days now. <laughs> I miss him. He was a nice kid. <laughs> He's uh we've we've been having fun. We haven't got uh, I had all these um things. I was very motivated to get shit done and at some point I realized I just I have to just go with what today. Yeah, you know, like, rather than force the issue. Okay, what seems fun today? What's my mind? Am I uh, do I have any uh, creative skills? Am I more uh, um, organizational motivated? Like let's get shit planned for, for but we've been having we've been having a a, a, a good time. Uh, the one thing that uh, the most interesting thing that uh, has come out is uh, it, well, his uh, his his gal uh, my my fiance his girlfriend. Uh, this, and as far as Im- immigration, if you, you're uh, if you're tuned into this. We met Alex. Uh, how long? What was what was the first year that we did a tour in Australia? Twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen. Uh, so we've known him that long, and uh, when his uh, his latest girlfriend, uh, after a string of disasters, <laughs> <laughs> when we met her, uh, I call her Mimsy. Uh, she. Uh, she and I hit it off, and Alex and Bingo all, uh, you know, we've been wife swapping for for that many years, so <laughs> we've fallen in love with each other's partners, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we're th- uh, we're thinking about uh, getting married, like, in a, I'm going to marry his uh, wife, and he's going to marry my wife, and it has nothing to do with the dual citizenship at all. Mm. It's about love, and if you don't know what love is, <laughs> you know what? I'm staring love in the face. He's he's not really willing to show you that face, but I <laughs> I see it, and I, I I'm, I'm I trust that he'll take care of you, Bingo, and Mimsy. See, here's the thing, Mimsy. 
you know, she uh, had have, a... Have she, not met her yet. Yeah, but she had a, an occupation um, where she uh, was an adult uh, entertainer, not of the Sean Smith kind, but just swinging around the poles with the pasties and the titties and the, and the stuff. Um, and uh, I heard you talking to him. Some, someone was talking to him about him, which I'm like, uh, it's on the company dime. <laughs> <laughs> Move it on. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did you reconcile like, having a wife that did that for a living? And he said, well, I have this affliction <laughs> <laughs> where I can't imagine things. <laughs> and I... Yeah, we... <clears throat> It's like, first of all, why don't people all lead with the most interesting thing about <laughs> them <laughs> like that? Yeah. And then work backwards. It's a little weird to walk into a room and just announce. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, there, we, and the people that do do that are like Derek. I got into a car accident. <laughs> and I was legally dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We but, talked about this in the car ride over today because, of course, today we had to go pick up your car that. Uh, some kind recall. of a recall. Or yeah, the Hyundai Kona had a recall because it could uh, had a, some kind of transmission that could catch your garage on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't park it near wood. It said something like, "Don't yeah. park it near yeah, don't wood park structure." It, yeah, don't park so it. Near, don't uh, drive it. Ground. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, and that fucking the one old Honda. We had a recall that said your air airbag could explode and uh, hurt, maim, or kill you. Mm. Please take it in. I go, so you want me to drive it 35 miles? Yeah. <laughs> it could kill me. It says in the fucking recall notice, it could kill me. Right. And you want me to drive it 35 miles to the dealership. How yeah. about you send a fucking tow truck? <laughs> they never did reconcile that. I think we just lost Honda as a sponsor. but <laughs> Yep. Well, we lost Hyundai, too, because that's another recall. Uh, so you were going to pick up the car after it's been fixed and no longer... For, for which we were late, but luckily the guy was nice enough to let you in and give you the keys. But on the car ride back, only because he's already outed you, I think you said it was called aphasia? Aphantasia. 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 Well, maybe you have a different nickname <laughs> <laughs> than the one we came up with. <laughs> that's, that's why I don't you mean like the big reveal of this podcast? Aphantasia. Aphantasia. <laughs> Fantasia being a Disney movie, I think. <laughs> also not a sponsor. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but since you did bring it up, it is technically the... Yeah, it's sort of to do with, like, your ability to visualize stuff. Okay. So, yeah, it's a spectrum of can kind of visualize stuff to just can't. And you think in conversations rather than images and stuff. Well, hmm. imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The point is, so so, if he went in and he saw his wife titty dancing, he'd go berserk and fucking break out a hatchet. Like all all the murders over there, they happen with fucking hatchets or swords. Uh, and uh, I would assume a battle axe, like the the, the, <laughs> the two sided one. Like a Viking. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he starts shaving with it, <laughs> clogs up the plumbing. And uh, but he he can't visualize what. And, and there's a million questions. Like, okay, if your wife like titty danced for you, <laughs> and then you like had cardboard cutouts of other guys, <laughs> and you put the memory of that in front of uh, other dudes in overalls, shirtless. Now, you can't picture guys like a guy shirtless and big back hair that climbing like ivy. He's in overalls. <laughs> he's sweating. He's drinking a Foster's, <laughs> and he's he's j j jamming coins down the front of your wife's. <laughs> There's no you. It, it's honestly it's it's black, and I see like an outline of each detail, but not a whole image. I can like quickly jump between them and get some sort of yeah sense of the image, but honestly, then yeah, I, I was getting fragments. I because 
I, I'm looking for the upside of this and the downside, but honestly, I I can't imagine <laughs> what it's like. like I, I, don't, I don't have a picture of what you can't picture. Right. Uh, you, yeah, you can't subtract that from your... I don't yeah, know. it's like you you can't describe a color that doesn't exist. Right. Um, you're pro it's like anything else. You're probably better off not knowing. But have you found like times that this I'm like thank God I can't fucking imagine that. I can't. Yeah, well that's one. Yeah, yeah that's one. <laughs> yeah. But what um, um, what's what's the downside? Um, you forget people exist and come across as a bit of a psychopath. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> says, look at the money he's saving on cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but like, once I remember that person, I can pick up as though, yeah, it was yesterday when it was. Wow. Years. Are there other people like you, or is this like a super? Oh yeah, plenty of people. Is there I, a subreddit? <laughs> I, I, you don't remember? I, <laughs> <laughs> I first heard about it, um, Pendulet has it and was describing it really was like, oh, is that God. how you found out yeah oh, wow well, he's done well for himself yeah <laughs> by the way he doesn't mind being in front of the camera <laughs> <laughs> that's uh yeah that, that uh, how old were you um oh yeah, mid 20s um i'd that's always be... like wait mid 20s me... when this like happened or mid 20s when you found when out i had a, a name a for it okay yeah yeah so you've always had it um yeah and i've always asked people like um do you think in conversations? And they're like, yeah, sometimes. I'm like, oh, that's kind of how only how I think. Hmm. Yeah. I, uh, to spell that out for me. Like, think in conversation. C O N. Well, you you sort of end up having a default person most of the time in your head. So whether it's your crush or significant other, um, and you're just running every thought by them as though, yeah, you're in conversation. All right. Yeah. Or whoever you're thinking about, or like, yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't know if I do that or not. I don't get it. My fucking head is just there. Well, yeah, it's a cacophony of, it's talking to itself <laughs> all the time. I don't. It's running conversations, but not by someone else. But it's always, always a conversation, and it's usually about what song is playing in my head and why well, does the, yeah we both have that yeah yeah but uh, the, it goes on from there there's meetings about it <laughs> 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 all right let's play a commercial i gotta throw my shit in the dryer you're listening to the doug stanhope podcast <laughs> All right, we're back. That would be... Are, they, you are, did, they in, are they also in your fucking crawl space that's about four feet high and we can't stand <laughs> up or nails will pierce our heads? Yeah, you're the one who... Where, where are these... Oh, there's the nails. They're everywhere. Your head. They're everywhere. All right. I can actually kind of sort of stand I here, think but our, those our Sasquatch are, friend here from uh, Australia cannot. I think those are new. I think... New? Yeah, like since they redid the, yeah, the, the kitchen. Awesome. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Either way. What a bunch of assholes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I don't think they pictured anybody living down here, no less uh shooting I a really uh I really want to turn this into a um a, a Gacy's crawl space and put a little sign out. I stole the, the, the name our old friend Arthur Hinty, uh he said that, that him and his buddies always talked about opening a bar and they all came up with different names and his favorite name they came up with was Gacy's Crawl Space <laughs> as a name for a bar. And uh, oh. But I would love to make this into Johnny Depp on his island. He has a, like an outdoor bar on the island. And he goes, you can sleep in. He's got a bunch of like you know <clears throat> houses and stuff. I, w I, was, I almost called him c Cabinas, but no. It's not a six-bedroom cabina. <laughs> but he goes, where well, you can sleep in the uh, prison cell, the jail cell, like on the uh, the bar where it would be a storeroom like this. They turned it into a jail cell and put door uh, bars on, <laughs> as the door because you don't need to shut the door in the Bahamas. 
And I stayed there. I'm like, yeah, I want to be by the bar the whole fucking time. Makes sense. And I thought this, I would love to turn this into a jail cell. Yeah. A little fucking cot. We could, right there, put bars right there in that little yep. window. <laughs> I don't know if that's in the shot or not, but. It doesn't matter. Uh, wait, we were talking about him. Right. <laughs> uh, Back to the suspect. <laughs> Dude. He seems nice. Look at that. Look at that handsome smile on him. But you never know. Are they, uh, what are your biggest fears <laughs> about being here? <laughs> <clears throat> you seem. Uh, there was a couple times I, I noticed you, you. I don't know that you. Uh, you are aware of how much rope you have before you could possibly hang yourself like you, you <laughs> seem like at first there was a couple of things where i noticed eh, he, he seems like am i gonna get in trouble if i don't do this or something like mm -hmm. uh, well, it's his first time in the states too yeah, he's halfway across the world he's somebody else's guest he's a polite young man who's uh trying to be a good guest what do you miss most about home uh, uh, Mimsy. Yeah, of course, <laughs> the lady. And, uh, and my cat. One of them. Yeah, I try to, I try to get us both a cat today and lure it with, uh, <laughs> lure it with, uh, packaged salmon. The packets of salmon. He ate one. He'll be back. But, I mean, like, what, what what's fucked you? You haven't tried to drive yet. I, I gave him the, uh, the mom car, that same... Honda that could explode in your face. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's, it's got uh, two hundred and sixty some thousand miles on it. Yeah. If he crashes, that if he does, right. there's no there's no backup camera, and he's backing out right into a gully. That <laughs> <laughs> eight foot fucking uh, uh, drainage ditch. <laughs> so yeah, if you fuck up and go on the wrong side of the road, the worst that happens is you die. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, I'm much like you. Like, I don't really, yeah, leave the hotel room and stuff like that. So, <laughs> you yeah. have no interest in seeing stuff. Yeah, if you're going to Safeway, I'll go. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. We, we went to sushi, and I forgot we went to sushi over there, Australia. You wouldn't believe it, the worst sushi and hard to find. Like, it's all coastal. Like, there's nothing inland. So you. That's think, a good point. Should it be fresh uh, seafood. Yeah, but Every all day. their fucking fish are sharks, <laughs> <laughs> giant ones full yeah. of human bodies. <laughs> it's confirmed. Yeah. So 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 maybe yeah, sushi isn't a great idea over there. But we went and it was terrible. And I vaguely remember that he didn't really eat anything that they didn't really have. Like they. they so he gets chicken. I bring it. You want to go to? Should we go to sushi right now in Sierra Vista? Which is yeah, it's a you know, seventy mile round trip. He goes uh, absolutely, and I, I said fucking <laughs> yes, man, wholeheartedly. Okay. Yeah, like, and he gets fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> It was called something. Do you remember katsu or something? Yeah, one of those. That's yeah. yeah, tempura fried chicken on a a plate of rice <laughs> like like this. Like you'd get at a fucking I didn't know Des Moines a, truck stop. Yeah, yeah banquet portion. <laughs> and then okay. co coated with fucking fried chicken, chicken this thin, breaded this big, mm. and and <laughs> ungodly amount. And I'm like, why don't you just say you, you didn't want sushi and we we could. Because one thing that's been fun is he wants to eat all this fast food that they don't get over there. So they they get McDonald's. The best thing about Australia is fucking, they don't have Burger King. They have Hungry Jacks. Hungry Jacks. Because one guy owns a place, a small burger place called Burger King. Is it in Adelaide or is it, no, I forget I where it is. Some place I want... Where I wanted to go there when we played, just to say thank you. I fucking hate Burger King with every fucking cancer cell in my body. <laughs> hates Burger King, That's uh, a lot and I of love. Stuff. But so he's only had the, those couple. He's, he hasn't had Taco Bell. He hasn't had Wendy's. He hasn't had Jack in the Box. The Jack in the Box. We got to get you Taco Bell, but we also have to get you a Jack in the Box Taco Bell. I talked to the guy, the manager at the one by the airport, <laughs> mm. uh, when I was uh, uh, ordering there once indoors, and uh, 
I got something. To, I was talking about the tacos. They're, they're. Do you have you had a Jack in the Box? No. They're the most disgusting. They're deep fried and they're wet. You can see through uh. the shell at the fake cat food meat, and they're fucking. You, you feel horrible, like a, a prostitute in a third world country. There you go. <laughs> Uh, it's, it seemed it, like uh, right at the time, and it was late at night, and <laughs> uh, I'll, 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 I'll make amends. <laughs> I'll buy someone a turkey for fucking a homeless person a turkey <laughs> for Thanksgiving, and it'll be even. It's, uh, but it's, he said it's like 85% of their sales are those disgusting fucking tacos. Hmm. So I don't know if that's the number, but it was a ridiculously huge number. He goes, yeah, you wouldn't believe it. Almost, almost that's so much of our sales are those. So we're going to get you one of those and a, a Taco Bell taco, no, and you can eat them at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, we can film that, right? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna be. We can, uh, we can wear a balaclava <laughs> <laughs> through the hole. But no, that, we we got him Arby's today, and that's yeah. his first thing. I got him a, a Schlotsky's, but that doesn't count. That's not name brand. No. So yeah, we, we can get him a. Can you eat two burgers? Yeah. We can get him a Wendy's burger and then something down the street. Oh, burger. okay. Yeah. Uh, they have Carl's Jr., but. Uh, Ah, we'll figure it out. We again, we'll be loading this. Uh, we'll be loading the Patreon up. Four more weeks to stuff them full of American fast food mm -hmm. and send them home to M Mimsy. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. You know what that reminds me of? This commercial break. And we're back. What? What else? What? What? What do you, what do you want to do while you're here that you haven't done? I really, I mean, yeah. Uh, I, Do you even, sleep if, well? Even if you had told me what we were doing, I wouldn't be able to imagine it. So, yeah, it's just. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been a, a six week black chunk of no work, which is great. I should have yeah. I, I actually looked up that, but I had no idea what the name was. Oh, A, 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 a Fantasia. A Fantasia. Uh, I'd never heard of it until our car ride. <clears throat> yeah, some people also have like a more extreme version of it, where it's like face blindness. Um, that's what Pendulette has. But face blindness? Yeah, where they remember a description of people, but if that description changes, if you come in wearing glasses and a new haircut, they won't recognize you. you know? Yeah. Is there a mental illness where every time someone describes a mental illness, you <laughs> think you have that? Or is that just because That's you're like self-involved? First year med student syndrome, they call it, or something. No, <laughs> no, because there's so much of like all of this. Like uh, I forget not? people all the time. Hmm. Uh, well, you you like meet a lot to, of people. Uh, I, I mean, I, I wrote a bit about it. I remember in the early days of Edinburgh that they... Uh, I, I don't remember anyone because I met really good friends over there. The the Fringe Festival at the time, there was like people still partied when it was starting to become not a thing. Like nobody parties anymore in these states. And then you go to the Fringe Festival early two thousands, and everyone's on fucking ecstasy, like trying to stay up on their third day because they did it. I remember running into Glenn Wool walking at like 10 a.m. I just had breakfast and I saw him like walking like a zombie at <laughs> gone and I go he goes uh, I agreed to do this children's show and I had to do I haven't slept in my this is my third day and I had to do ecstasy I didn't want to but I knew it was the only thing I had with me that could keep me awake to get through this show and I was like those, like, that kind of partying was still happening, mm. and I would like as I went. I went back two more times, and I would. I, I had to write a bit about it to that. I go. I don't remember anyone. So, like, tell me your name when I see you. If 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 we know each other really well, just be polite and tell me. Hey, I don't know you because. Uh, oh, fuck. Now I can't remember the. 
<laughs> Imagine, I've been doing comedy for uh, uh, 18 years or whatever at that point. I, imagine that as school uh, and remembering your schoolmates, but you went to uh, 18 years of school, but you were at a different school every week <laughs> in a different place. And then someone comes up and says, remember me from ninth grade? Well, I went to a lot of ninth yeah. grades. No, that makes sense. But what Alex is saying is if I came over to the house with a hat on, you're still going to know who I am. No, we talk about this all the time. People in town where you go, okay, if I see the guy from the post office, I know the guy from the post office and he's going to call me Stan and I'm never going to correct him. <laughs> but if I see the guy from the post office at Safeway, yeah. I'm like, I don't fucking... I think we all have that. Yeah, I know, but that's what I'm thinking. That's and, like, yeah. yours is just an extreme version of... I've actually thought before maybe you're somewhere along that spectrum all right because and it was long before i really even thought about it but i noticed on the first tour we did together how spatially aware you are at all times um whether it was like spotting mazda threes to fuck with bingo um, <laughs> you remember? <laughs> yeah. or like when we we're at like a, a poolside bar at a hotel and like you've noticed that a couple over the other side of the pool hasn't got anywhere to ash their cigarette. <laughs> so you, you dump a can of something and go and give them that, like... Yeah, yeah. I, I wrote... A, thank you for noticing Constant that. host. I, well, yeah. no. I, I wrote about that in whatever book, but that um, when you think I'm not listening to you, I, you're right, but I'm also very aware of everything that's going on around you. I, I, so if you want me to... Pay attention to you. Just get in the peripheral vision of the guy that's talking to me, and I'll just be focused on you the whole time. I see everything but. Yeah, that, that's how I am as well. Yeah. All right. You, you can, someone can be speaking to me in a noisy room. I'm hearing everyone but them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But makes for good drivers, which is good. That's, what it, that's when it came up at one point. Uh, we're going to the car wash, taking a left in, in Sierra Vista, and then I went, oh shit, we gotta go to the Dollar Tree first to make it a, a proper loop. Mm -hmm. And then I fucking to go four lanes, and he doesn't know that I've already checked the rear view mirror. So I, I said, hey, listen, when I do something crazy like that, or I'm swerving a little bit because I'm texting, <laughs> <laughs> I've I've already made sure uh, that I can see a, a half mile in front of me and behind me that there's no other cars on the road. So if I, I, I drift a little bit into the lane, I, I'm already I've fact checked. And he goes, I, I, I know that I know how spatially aware you are. So he drops a big word on me. I try to make him comfortable. He tries to make me look like an imbecile by just saying spatially aware. That, would have, that actually would have creeped me out, I think, if somebody ever said that to me. Just, I know how spatially aware you are. <laughs> what, are you that, fucking watching me at night with these weird cameras you have? <laughs> yeah. Talking all funny. It's a little strange. But very super nice guy. Very funny. I don't want um, this to our friends, uh, Fred and Anita, they're, uh, yeah, they're in their fucking 80s and shit. But very, you know, far more spry than Derek, who's in his forties. Like people, a any of us, Fred, yeah, anywhere. most, yeah, uh, yeah. So, so we pull up, we see him, and, and I, he had recommended a dentist for Bingo and I, and I, I took him up on. I go, hey, thanks for the recommendation. Uh, we're getting uh, appointments, and we're in the car. We're in front of their house, and Anita's on my side, and Fred's on his side. And she goes, "Who's your friend?" <laughs> I said, "I was." Uh, it was uh, Alex? He's from Australia. He's in town for the month, and uh, he's my tour manager. I want to hear him talk. <laughs> wow. So he goes, "G'day." <laughs> she goes, "I want to hear him talk more than that." <laughs> it was, you know, uh, I, I, I need is a bit of a card. <laughs> that was nice of you to throw a little bone with the good day. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the second time I've said good day ever. Every other. <laughs> <laughs> But you, you do say how you going? How you going? Yeah, how you going? That's that's my that's the one that bothers me the most <laughs> over there. Uh, who have you, who who who's stood out that you've met? I we I hate the fact that by the time Chad showed up at Thanksgiving, oh here, I, yeah, I he yeah, yeah. Who, who stood out that you've met around town or here at the compound? Um, yeah, love Derek. 
<laughs> it's good value. <laughs> um, yeah, we've all uh, we've all agreed that uh, f- yeah, f- Floyd, you need to <laughs> backdoor Mike. His dad, uh, they lived together at first. Uncle Bill, uh, he would come up and he sweetheart, but you know, a, 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 a drunk for a long enough time that. He'd talk, and we had kind of a, a tacit agreement amongst us that if you're stuck sitting next to, to Bill at football, Uncle Bill, at some point you just make a nod. At some, and they, I got to go uh, take a shit, uh, and someone else comes and listens, and he'll just keep on with the same story <laughs> like it's like it's the same person. He doesn't care. He's going to be saying this anyway, so you take turns listening, and that's what you kind of need with Floyd now. Uh, is a you don't want to be one on one. Well, not when he's when he's really hammered. Um, but yeah, that's that's the thing. I, I can't really remember people. Oh, yeah. So. But you know, but you said Conrad. You know the names though, because you've listened to the oh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. So, you knew, I know. Yeah. You, I noticed you knew yeah. my last name. Yeah, yeah. You even asked me when. You oh introduced yeah. You as Dave, and you said Raider. All the cast. Yeah. What? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. But Chad, big, big name on the podcast. You got to meet him or yeah. see him the other day. I, I saw him. There yeah, were a lot yeah, of people yeah. here. Thanksgiving, we had, what, 15, 20 people here? Uh, it was a good amount of people. They were a everywhere. lot of people showed up late. <clears throat> as, yeah. Were we I? Yeah. Oh, how does, uh, yeah, yeah, how does weed uh, play into this? Because you're a big pot guy. Yeah, well, well that's the thing. Um, I, I tried Did you it get like this a... E- a Fantasia after you've got a fucking <laughs> bag Stoned? of weed? No, no. The, the exact opposite, actually. Oh, yeah, it helps. The first time I actually got high, I had visualizations. Yeah, it was like a listening party for this Radiohead album. And uh, yeah, I was getting visualizations that went along with the music. Um, yeah. Oh wow! And it was really maybe profound. we should uh, do some uh, some uh, weed and mushrooms, maybe, and you can visualize uh, your your Mimsy like doing <laughs> this. Oh, <laughs> some guy's huge cock. Oh, the veins are bulging out. Her fucking her her pussy feels like a horse nibbling oats. Oh yeah, yeah. I stole that joke from some Denver comic. <laughs> But it worked right yeah. then. I had to cop to this thing. Look how well you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and funny thing is, uh, my mother had like some like stomach pains at some stage that nothing could fix. So I was like, okay, well, I bet she would try weed now um, <laughs> as a Hail Mary. Um, not only did yeah it fix her stomach cramps but the exact same thing happened to her um she was visualizing vividly and just being like oh my god i'm picturing uh roman columns and (laughs) and and purple velvet so it's just like an antique wait so pineapple velvet she purple velvet yeah so but did she have the same exactly yeah so this is a genetic thing yeah yeah wow yeah it's a like autism yeah Oh shit! Never heard of. Well, that. no, autism doesn't really have a fucking. I don't know. I I'm, I'm not going to talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's okay. This po- this podcast is not sponsored by autism. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I, I I don't know, but it's one of those things that you go, okay, how many people can claim autism? It's, just yeah, oh. such a broad. It's exactly. Oh. It's a broad spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> Oddly enough. <laughs> <laughs> so so um the weed store you couldn't wait that was the first thing we did i think yeah 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 we met up uh <laughs> i was hammered uh and we met at the uh the the four points i get off the plane a wreck and the next morning uh we get the hell out of town and he's like oh uh, let's stop at the dispensary that's the first thing he wanted to do uh and it was great yeah, because it's in the, yeah. like in the so middle civilized. of fucking over. This Sonoida, oh, the lunch really? box in Sonoida, and every time you <laughs> buy weed there, they give you a lunch oh, box. Lunchbox, right? You, yeah, like a novelty lunch box. Yeah. This I uh, got one that had like a cassette tape logo. Uh, you know, that's kind of cool. Yeah, uh, 
But so because I heard someone, I was probably Chad or someone like I got so many fucking lunch boxes now. I, I have no <laughs> idea what they're talking about. I'm just vaguely paying attention. I'm like, I have all these lunch. What? But I don't. Again, I don't question anything. <laughs> someone could be talking about yeah, and then like, well, they evidently have the launch codes, and then so, <laughs> like, ah, the fucking jambalaya is burning. I don't care about nuclear war. Mm. Uh, but uh, was your experience satisfactory? Was yeah, was yeah. your weed up to par? It, with, it definitely is. Yeah. Well, please tell us if it's better than Australian weed. Um, yeah. Well, from it, it's all, all the stuff in Australia now is medical, so it's pretty good. It's just right. way more expensive and takes forever to get through the mail. Yeah. Oh, through the mail. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have that. You have yeah. to go actually get in a car and drive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's funny here. You still have road. to you have to get cash out here to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. So you have to get a, what? Anything? Cash. Oh, cash. Yeah, it's federal. You know. You know. Mm-hmm. You know with what you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but yeah. Safeway. Uh, have you enjoyed Safeway? Oh yeah, it's great. For for a few things, there are um, way more options than in Australia. E- even in a, like a city, um, yeah. Well, I did ask at one point. Uh, I said the first time I, I bring people, to, <laughs> I bring people to Safeway, like someone who's proud of New York City brings it to the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, and he's like, I know, oh, oh shampoo, because they, they they just redid the place, so all, everyone in Bisbee is confused now because they changed where everything. Right. Eighteen years, and then they changed the fucking lab rats maze. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, I do need shampoo, and he's like going to the Head and Shoulders, and I'm like, this fucking eighty five. I go, do they have fifty five different kinds of Head and Shoulders where you live? He goes, yeah, actually, they do. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you want to see the Lavender Pit or the Queen Mind Tour or Old Bisbee and fucking wine tasting, no. But I'll, I'll fucking I'll show you all around Safeway. We did take them through uh, Lowell today on the way back. Oh from yeah, Bingo's thing. Very. Cool. I, I we didn't get out. I already I already took them through Lowell. Well. I had forgotten, but I didn't oh, want but to, I can't. I didn't want to make you feel I? bad. Yeah, once yeah. We were there. because of your affliction. <laughs> <laughs> right. You forgot. You already forgot. I, of course, what awesome. he told me this. Uh, I don't uh, have. Well, he told someone else that I was listening in on that he doesn't have the ability to imagine. Mm. <laughs> I didn't phrase it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to yeah. s- stop myself from stuttering, but. My first question. Okay, bye bye now. Alles besser. Quatsch, Papa. Das heißt nicht, früher war alles besser. Sondern? Das heißt, früher ist besser. Genau. Jetzt früh buchen und bis zu 40% für deinen Urlaub 2024 sparen. Je früher, desto besser. 40%. Das gab's früher nicht. Sag ich doch, Papa. Früher ist besser. <lacht> Jetzt früh buchen. Im Eltour Reiseshop oder unter Eltour.com.